The man at the centre of the family's SA child sex scandal has been investigated over the unsolved murder of a pedophile who was found dead in his Warradale bedroom. Nine News can reveal Shannon McCool was questioned by detectives after they discovered that, in a bizarre coincidence, he lived next door to the victim as a child. 65-year-old Rodney Larkham was killed 12 months ago, found stabbed to death in the bedroom of his Warradale home. Tonight, we can reveal it's right next door to where this man grew up. Shannon McCall, the family's SA carer who yesterday admitted the sexual abuse of seven children, lived there with his family for up to 15 years until they moved in 2006. It's a length that was too extraordinary for major crime detectives to ignore. Nine News understands they've questioned McCall over the murder but found no evidence against him. The 32-year-old also denied he was ever a childhood victim of Larkham, who was once convicted of the sexual abuse of two boys. These are details that can now be released after the lifting of a secrecy order on McCall's identity. We can also reveal he had contact with children overseas, working at a summer camp in the US state of Virginia between 2004 and 2006 and leaving a message in its newsletter. Being a part of camp has strongly influenced me and now I'm starting my Bachelor of Education degree. I've also been working with Big Brothers Big Sisters here in Australia. The Big Brothers Big Sisters organisation has not returned calls from Channel 9. Shannon McCall had moved to this property on Morfitt Road when on June 9 of this year he was caught out. Police raided the property to uncover shocking evidence of abuse on his personal computer. More than 100,000 still images and more than 600 videos. Ben Avery, Nine News.